Hi everyone, my name is Pat. I'm a marathon swimmer from the state of Maine, and I just had rotator cuff surgery for an injury that I sustained almost a year ago. I'm very pleased with the outcome of the surgery so far. I had surgery done two days ago. Uh, the surgeon uh, said that I should be good to go for another marathon swim next year. I'm gonna take you along on my journey of recovery. I'm going to tell you about the tips that I learned before the surgery occurred and what I did after uh, to help my progress so I can get back to my beloved sport of marathon swimming. Two weeks before surgery, you want to prepare the type of clothing that will be comfortable to get in and out of with a sling. For example, when I left the hospital, I had a button-down t-shirt. They put my uh, non-affected arm through first and then they just draped it over my sling and buttoned it. My pants were very loose fitting with rubber band that would be easy to pull it up and down. Uh, I didn't have to bother with any zippers. Also your shoes. You want to have slip-on shoes because you don't want to be bending over uh, tying sneakers uh, after surgery. Granted the nurse can do it but you want to start uh, feeling a little bit more independent and get used to using just your one arm. When I got home I had some shirts that I had tried on before. I had tried this shirt here, okay? This is just a typical t-shirt, 100% cotton. Uh, I was surprised that it did not work well at all. I did a trial of that uh, two weeks before. But I did find that uh, t-shirts that has a little bit of stretch to it. Um, I got this at Sam's Club um, and I was able to put my affected arm in first, then I pulled it over my head and then I was able to put my arm through without any problem. These shirts stretch quite a bit. Also, you wanna try practicing removing your sling and putting it back on. Um, hopefully you'll have some help at home, but if not, I'll show you how I did this. All right. Okay, here's my sling. What I wanted to do is get my elbow in first, also my hand, keep it in place. There's two straps. This strap goes up around the neck. So what you want to do is just kind of get it in place first. There we go. Then you can rearrange after. Okay. This has Velcro, which is very comfortable and easy to put on. What you want to do is make sure that your elbow is in the corner piece of this. Okay, you don't want your elbow way up here, you want it down below. So you're going to do a little fiddling around with it. Then there's another strap towards the back. Okay, what you do is just grab hold of it, bring it through. There's another loop right here. Put it through the loop and then adjust. What you want to do is make sure that your arm is in good alignment. Also, you don't want your hand to be hanging down like this. It's not good for the wrist. So you want to make sure that your arm is very well protected. So you want to just adjust this. Let me show you. Okay, there we go. My arm is in the corner piece, my hand, okay? And then you want to make sure that you're in good alignment. You don't want to be having your hand way over here. Also, too, you want to make sure that this isn't right up against your neck. Um, you want to just make sure it, it stays comfortable. But you can try that. Um, I had no problem putting it on or off. Um, it was recommended. Uh, my doctor wanted me to wear TED stockings uh, for two weeks, so I have those on. Um, also, um, sleeping positions. Um, it was recommended that a recliner is very comfortable. Um, so I got, my, my husband has a recliner. I tried it, I don't care for recliners to begin with. So I opted to go in my own bed. What I did, I got extra pillows. Um, so I'm in a propped up position. Um, also, I got a body pillow to go on my affected side. That way I could put ice packs and it would feel comfortable. I, that was what I enjoyed. Um, you wanna uh, practice also two weeks before of, of just uh, the basic hygiene of going to the bathroom and you know using your 
your, um, your unaffected hand for brushing teeth, washing, um, you know, and cleaning oneself. Um, also, what I'd recommend, um, if you are by yourself and you don't have anyone to help, um, prepare a lot of um, frozen TV dinners, you know, uh, cook, you know, uh, quite a supply for your first couple of weeks. That way it'll be so much easier for you. Hi, it's been four weeks since my surgery and I'm very pleased with my recovery. I'm going to show you the motion in my arms. This is the surgical site. As you can see, there's the puncture marks that I had. It's healing very well. I have one here and there's one in the back. I go to physical therapy uh, twice a week and I do physical therapy at home uh, twice a day. And that's been very instrumental in my recovery. I usually drink uh, lots of water. That's a very important factor um, after having physical therapy. Also, I apply ice after every session. When I was at the hospital, they had given me an ice pack. It looked like this, it has a strap, you know, you put this on. I didn't care for it because uh, it, it fall off very easily. So what I did, I went to a local sporting goods store and I bought, they call it shock doctor. All right, you can see the coverage for this is so much better. I was able to wear this around the house after I did physical therapy and kept the ice right on there. And I was able to walk around, do chores, do whatever. And it worked fantastic. I was very happy that two weeks post-op, once this had, uh, the incisions had healed, I was allowed to go back into the pool. I was not allowed to use my arm in freestyle. However, they said I could do um, different types of workout like core training, uh, kicking. I did not use a kickboard because I felt that I would have too much strain on the shoulders. So what I did, um, I would get on my back, get in a streamlined position, and I would kick. And I would do that uh, for a half hour to an hour. And then the following hour, I would um, go onto my uh, stomach and I'd put a snorkel and I would do core workout where my face was in the water. I would not use my arm for freestyle because they didn't want me to do this as of yet. Uh, but I would do kicking and I would do rotation exercises and I would do that for about an hour. And felt good really getting back into the water. Uh, the following week, I was allowed to start using my right arm, and that was third week post-op, and it was a very gentle freestyle, almost like a cool-down uh, stroke. I was not allowed to do any sprinting or anything like that. Uh, it felt really good. Uh, there was some stiffness, but it felt really good to get into the water. And now it's been four weeks post-op, and I'm doing 30 minutes and tomorrow it's going to be increased to 40 minutes of freestyle. I'm re really, really pleased with that. Um, what I'd recommend is to listen to your physical therapist as far as the type of exercises that they want you to do. I found that to be uh, very, very instrumental. I would show you the exercise, but your surgery might be a little different from what I had done. And really it's uh, physical therapy is individualized. So they will create a program that's uh, specific for you. Mine um, was um, was really good. Uh, I was very pleased with the, uh, the outcome. Um, I'm going to be doing a marathon swim in about nine months. So um, from now on, uh, as each week progresses, I'll be um, cranking up the yardage. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that marathon swim. Never expected to see um, a great recovery this soon. I was expecting uh, that I'd have issues for three to four months afterwards, not to be in the pool uh, two weeks later. Uh, but anyway, chat with you in a bit. Hi everyone. Yesterday I swam the North Channel. That's 21 miles. I'm happy to report that I have no shoulder aches or pains after, this is 24 hours later, as you can see, I can move my shoulder, bring it this way, back, up, front, without any pain whatsoever. Even last night when I went to bed, I had no aches, no pains at all in that shoulder. 
Um, I can't thank Dr. Gregory Sawyer of Maine Medical Partners enough uh, for his uh, expertise in this field. Also, when I went to, uh, for physical therapy, I went to Live Vital, that's in Portland, Maine. Uh, they have a team of experts and they showed me what I needed to do to get my shoulder back in uh, shape to do a marathon swim. Uh, so I am really, really pleased. Um, if you need surgery, speak to your doctor and see what's best for you and see um, and follow what they recommend because every surgery is different and all physical therapy um, is different too as far as what they would recommend to build the strength back up. But anyway, I'm extremely pleased and thank you for joining me on my journey.